Hi everybody, welcome to Learn for Turkey. So in the last tutorial, we have seen how we have added the code in the Git repository using NetBeans. And we have also seen few things in the GitHub account. In this tutorial, we are going to see how one can view the commit history using NetBeans ID as well as through git command line, git log command. So let's begin. The prerequisite for this tutorial is few softwares that we need to install in our system, the git netbeans ide github account. This, soft, this is not to be installed but this account needs to be created by those who want to follow this tutorial. The second is knowledge. So few basic knowledge of programming is important and and some brief points from part one of this series. So what are the steps we are going to cover or we are going to take to accomplish the objective? So first one is we will going to make some changes in the project files and do some commits and then we will see the commit history using NetBeans in build functionality and also using the git log command actually netbeans in internally make use of the git log command to see everything in the id so let's begin using the netbean id to make some changes so in the last part we have made one project simple project hello to git in java language you can make this project in any language so it is independent of that language concept so we are going to see the file the first file that is the entry point to the application so we are going to make some quick changes in this file suppose we make a function over here So here we are just making few changes and we are going to call function from main. So save it and let's check the output. Yeah, so we have made few changes in this file so as you see the lines that get modified are in green color is highlighted by netbeans in green sec section so if you want to see the changes you can click on that green section and you can click on this icon to see what has been changed by you let's close it we will cover it in the later tutorial Now perform the commit operation using NetBeans ID that we have learned in the last tutorial. So whatever file we have modified gets listed over here and since it is a, not the initial commit, it is the second commit, we will put some commit message. Since it is an enhancement, so we can have a commit message like this. function added for okay so we have one commit so far so far so far we have two commits but right now we have committed only one and let's again add one more function do the second commit in this tutorial so by so 
So let's copy this and declaration and call this. Okay. Yes. Okay. So we have made another sort of changes. Now let's add one more file over here so that we could have two file in the in this commit. that's it now we will do or we will perform commit now as you see the old existing file that is already in git repository is in blue color since we have modified the already existing file so it is in blue color and since welcome.java is a new file that would get added into the git repo and gets committed by the netbeans it is in green color so let's again add a commit message put a commit message let's say Third commit. Let's see third commit. Okay. Now the files has been committed. Now the main objective of this video is to see the commit history. So whatever file changes or whatever code changes we have done is not in not directly related to the Git concept. So let's see the file changes or code changes. So for that we have to right click on the project folder, go to git show history. So here it will have a summary tab by default clicked and in all branches we keep this all branches as it is and let's click on this search button. Now see this is the initial commit that we have done in the last tutorial. So if you expand this plus you will get to see the files that get added means this a symbol signifies that these are the files that get added to the git repo. You can also do certain operations from here also but that will be covered in the later tutorial. So what so in the second point we have function added for message. This is we have done in the last to last commit so here we have modified one file so if you click on this you can also see the file and in the last we have committed with commit message third commit so here in this commit we have modified one file and we have added one file to the git repo so the added file is represented as a and the edited file is represented as m so in this way the commit history is shown by the NetBeans in the reverse chronological order means the last commit is shown first over here. If you go to the diff tab you, you can see the exact file names in a clean way. Here we have certain columns that will show the entire thing. So in this way it will show like this what are the files that get affected these are the summary the same thing we can check out or look after using git so let's go to the folder location and shift and click open command win shift and click git bash here this comes along with the git software so don't have to worry about it so we are in the repository folder 
or the project folder so from here if you want to see the commit changes you can simply type in git log command so here it will show the again the commit history in the reverse chronological order and here it presents the author date author with username email id that we have set in the git config file and this is the git log command operation so if you want to see the file names or files that has been modified in the commit so if you perform git log with stat git log with stat option so here from here git stat it will show the files that get affected by the commit so here we go, we have, we have we have hello dot hello to git dot java gets modified and welcome dot java gets added so two files change is the summary shown over here so bottom to each commit message we have files that gets modified and the summary so for to come out of this view we have to click on q if i click on q it will come out of this view and if we keep on clicking return key then it will show further commit messages since we do not have more than three commits in this entire changes so it will not show more than that so if i click on enter once so this is this is this will end so if you, we have to come out of this you have to click on q so this will come out of the view so that's it we have covered that's it we have covered the commit history showing of commit history using netbeans as well as using git so thanks for watching learn for the recipe channel and don't forget to like and subscribe so in the upcoming video we we are going to cover how we can modify the last commit message as well as the files that gets committed in the last commit by mistake or we forget to add few files in the last commit so we'll cover in the next video thanks for watching